So welcome back to episode 3. So we had just left Rothenburg up to Taube and we were heading towards the Alps. Um, nice little drive, however we did happen across a little town which we were very charmed by so we stopped um, and you'll see that town shortly. What is it called? Dinkle Bell. I think. Stumbled upon Dinkle Hill. No, Dinkle Bell. Dinkle Bell. Okay, well, it's yeah. the most ridiculous city. In the middle of nowhere. It's so cool, and there was a huge festival outside. How is this real? It's all just so cool. They love their multicolor buildings. This is a very close up video of Tom eating his onion rings. I can't get any further away. Do you regret your choice of sauce? Mm mm. <laughs> Somewhere so hot, they so good. We are in, where are we? Dinkelsburg. Dinkelsbury. Dinkels. Le Schul. You're making up words now. I got some. a fish. no, a salmon. That's such an unfair thing. A salmon burger from the shop that's over there. There we go. And it is amazing. Oh, there we go. Tom has onion rings and a stein. With evil at the sauce. Moment. Is that a stein? I don't know what a stein is. I think it's just a beer. And behind us, there is German music happening. Or German entertainment. I would just like to document Tom eating his chocolate croissant. Mm. Having just eaten a salmon burger, a bratwurst good. roll, onion rings, two steins. And a chocolate crepe. Mm, it's questionable at this stage. And we're now walking home with our petrol station finds. Any wise words, Tom? Eat more. <laughs> Move more. less. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> not a good motto. What was our motto the other day? Legitimate concerns ignored. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to work the Nutella machine. Look yeah. at that. That's Nutella. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> then let it go back up and it'll cut off. Uh -oh. Whoa. Nutella on tap. Come on. Come on. So after our little unexpected stop in Dinkelsville, we were back on the road heading towards the Alps. Um, we were treated to an absolutely amazing road, dead flat, but you could see in the distance um, the Alps, which was really, really cool to see. Today's adventures is finding a new intercom and we just parked in the wrong car park so Tom's gonna come and meet me up here now. Woo. Round work. This is like mode like heaven. Oh cool bag as well. So far we've actually had success. We've found some new um intercoms and the man speaks no English so we've had a good time with Google Translate but we're getting there. 
So Tom, what are you doing right now? Uh, Indicons are broken, so we've just got fancy new ones. <laughs> the cheapest fancy new ones. So now we're going to quickly see if I can remember how to do this, but this should be... The man was so nice, but he speaks no English, so Google Translate was super useful. And he's working on his own, so he can't give us a hand, which is fine. Um, as long as Tom actually is as good as that's he says thin, he is. Isn't it? Ooh, yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah. All right, so good okay, to see you. I'm going to come and help you. Yeah. This is Tom saying goodbye to our old intercoms after we've just spent a good 20 minutes figuring out our new ones, which have way too many settings. Okay, and we've been here about probably about 45 minutes in total. testing out where the ground sheet should go. Shout out to the guy called Zander Badnik on YouTube and he does this all the time to check his... Yeah, that was happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> the ways look so abnormal in a campsite <laughs> and yet I'll be grateful later and look at the view our tent will eventually have. Ooh. Right here's the campsite, here's Buntu, here's the Alps. If we go further in, yeah, Z, we'll set up. And if we go to there, and I zoom in, there's New Schweinstein Castle. Pretty cool views there. <laughs> Tom doesn't only eat meat, although he does like to get a lot of meat when we're on holiday. For today's menu, we've got this long ass red pepper. We've got some salami, which is going to give us the fat to cook in. We've got some mushrooms. Yeah, not that we forgot olive oil or anything. Throw in some Bavarian blue cheese, and then we, I think we've got some packet rice. This should be rather. And you can see in the chocolate milk and chocolate because nice. we got a bit carried away today. Oh, should I go and find the packet rice? Yes, 
But look at this, also of sunset. We have also just been to the shops where we definitely could have got a lighter. Oops. There we go. Success. Nice and calm. Proud moment. How we do it in the wild. We off. Oh. That was great. <laughs> I also very much caught your popping a squat there. Yeah, I was a bit worried <laughs> that was going to go away, but... Quick shout out to SW Motec and okay, <laughs> not going to do that again. What did you just do? <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> did you hear that bird? I'm very proud of myself. I just gave two stickers to some motorbike campers, which is quite nerve wracking, but got to spread motorbike camping excitement. Um, yeah, they Good think job. I'm slightly crazy, I think. Braver than me. Okay, Tom, if you were going to pick one piece of camping equipment to recommend, what would it be? Take your time, don't worry. The poop shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Not only can you shovel and poop, you can... climb ice walls. <laughs> you can <laughs> light campfires. You can. I have to say this is not what I thought Tom's favourite piece of equipment was going to be. Use this thing. If you're in trouble, wait for it. No. <laughs> We're in the campsite, Thomas. You can clubber things with it. Is that a bottle opener as well? Saw. And <laughs> That's about it, but what a useful poop shovel, I gotta say. <laughs> a great shovel. We should also probably say it's not actually a poop shovel. <laughs> well, yeah, we dig trenches, you know, holes on the beach. <laughs> Fight off people. Um, I definitely thought you were gonna say the jet boil was your favourite <laughs> piece of equipment. <laughs> Shank, it's quite cool, you know. <laughs> wow. That's what I would recommend. <laughs> Right, so that's the view this morning. It's pretty cool view to be packing up to. See packing up. We've got the uh, the jigsaw fitting in <laughs> all of this and a tent into the bike. Look at this <laughs> Tetris like work. Yeah, but it fits. Glad we bought that drinking emergency. Thomas. <laughs> I am glad, thank you.